Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the min and max functions in Microsoft Excel. In Microsoft Excel, the min and max functions are used to show the lowest and highest number from a set of given values. These values can be numbers or they can be cells. You can have as many numbers or cells as you need in order to complete your min or max function. In this example, I want to know which number, 17 or 22, is the smallest. To start, I would type equals min, then open brackets. The first thing the formula wants is the first value, in this case, 17. Then we type a comma. The comma tells Excel to move on to the next part of the formula. This works for all formulas within Microsoft Excel. The next part of the formula is the second value, in this case, 22. Then, we close the brackets. The max function works in exactly the same way, only this time it's going to tell us the higher of the two numbers. We start with equals max, then open brackets. Then our first value, in this case 17, a comma to move on to the next part, and then our second value, in this case 22. We then close the brackets to finish the formula. In this example, I want to know which cell has the smallest value, either cell A1 or cell B2. To do this, I would start the formula in the same way as before, equals min, open brackets. Again, it asks for the first value. In this case, it's going to be cell A1. Then, I type a comma to move on to the next part, and then we type the next value. In this case, B2. I then close the brackets to finish the formula. If I want to find the largest value between cell A1 and B2, I can use the max function. So I type equals max, open brackets. Then my first value, A1, then a comma to move on to the next value, and then the other value, in this case, B2. I then close the brackets to finish the formula. values used in min and max can be a range of cells or numbers. For example, you could type equals min or max, open brackets, then have a cell such as b4, comma, and then a value such as 10, and then closing the brackets to finish the formula. For the min function, this would look at the number 10 and look at the value within cell b4 and return the lowest. With the max, it would look at the value 10 and the value within cell b4 and return the highest. Min and max can also be used to find the smallest or largest value from a range of given cells. In this case, I want to look at all 10 cells from A1 to B5 and find out which is the smallest and which is the largest. To find out the smallest, I would type equals min, open brackets, then the first part of the cell range. The first part of the cell range is the top left hand corner in this case, A1. As it is a cell range, I then use a colon before giving the other part of the cell range, in this case, the bottom right-hand corner, which is B5. I would then close the brackets to complete the formula. The max function works in exactly the same way, only this time it's going to return the highest value, so we type equals max, open brackets, then the first part of the cell range. Again, this is cell A1. Because it's a cell range, we type a colon, and then the other part of the cell range, in this case, B5. Again, close the brackets to finish the formula. So, to recap, the min and max functions are constructed in the following way. Equals min or max, open brackets, the first value, comma, the second value, close brackets. Thank you for watching.